appreciate that on an afternoon like this. Lovely conditions as well. And the perfect platform for them. receives his Ensley League First Division Manager of the Month award alongside uh, Jack Taylor of course the former World Cup final referee gets a pat on the back from Jack Taylor so a golden day for Mick Walker bringing his team to Wembley leading them out and receiving that prestigious award now the two captains Bonometti of Brescia and Phil Turner of Notts County who was the captain here on both occasions when Notts County won in the promotion playoffs. So he has particularly happy memories of the stadium. The officials are from Turkey, the referee, Dr. Ahmet Kakar. Nice gesture, Peter Reid at 37 could well have been included today by Notts County, but he said no, give the honour to the lads who have got Notts County to the final. So Peter Reid sits it out. And uh, Notts County will favour the 4-4-2 formation. And they'll seek to get uh, people like Paul Devlin and Andrew Legg using the flanks and the wide open spaces of Wembley. And here's Kevin Wilson. And there is Devlin for the first time involved. Ball laid back for Cherry. A few who's uh, went up there, but he whipped it out to Dykstra and then to Leg. Good play from Leg. Spotted what was on, takes the return ball from Gary Lowell and comes a cropper at the challenge of Baron Kelly. First free kick of the match awarded by the Turkish referee to Notts County. Draper. Extra. And, uh, he's found Phil Turner in a good attacking position and now Devlin quickly switching wings and Notts County have settled very early here Turner again, Wilson calling for it squarer, might get the chance of the first shot of the day, Kevin Wilson and a fine stop indeed by Landucci, what a good effort from Wilson he may be playing at fullback these days but he is of course a striker, Kevin Wilson by rights and he really gets everything into this shot and could have given County a sensational start. So can Notts County break the deadlock with one of these long Andrew leg throws? It's been the likeliest source. And, uh, he makes his intentions very obvious. And this time they do manage uh, to knock it up as far as Aji who was dispossessed and the ball kept in play as well here by Wilson who's done well and they're onside and that was a handball surely that was a handball well it's a corner been given but I would have sworn that Bonometti handled that ball as it comes in here that's a handball that for my mind should have been a penalty for Notts County Another Andrew leg throw in uh, just about the last minute of the first half. Uh, must have had eight or nine of these. And off it goes, and the keep, keeper's in trouble. And the foul has been awarded against him. Here comes Aji now. Uh, looks as though he's interested uh, for once there almost he's not posed many problems so far this afternoon here he is again he's got such a sweet left foot though and he's used it to good effect there and there are men forward here this is Sabo this is real danger surely Ambrosetti not county punished the Italians have barely had an attack in the second half but when they do they score 
The hero is Gabriel Ambrosetti with his fifth Anglo-Italian Cup goal. Lovely move, as he was in at the start of it. The little clip over the top here for Sabo. Cherry dashed from his line, cost him in the end, and Ambrosetti hammers it into the county net. So Gabriel Ambrosetti, the man who George Agi describes as the perfect striker, takes the congratulations from his teammates and the Italian side Brescia are in front. And it's midway into the second half as uh, Kevin Wilson plies this free kick in here, but not to any great effect. Well, they're losing the ball in dangerous areas now. County, they could be punished again as he pushes it forward. This could be a second, Neri. And what a good stop by Cherry. When George Agi rolled that ball invitingly into the space ahead of Maurizio Neri, you would have sworn Brescia were about to go 2-0 ahead. Credit Steve Cherry for the fact they didn't. Johnson lifts one halfway inside Brescia's half. Lund goes for it. It might spin away for Leg. Leg, they people up here. Here's it all. What a chance that one was. Tony Agana cannot believe that he's not at least hit the target and he's a mile off it. This is so disappointing because when the ball breaks, County have three men up virtually as an overlap. All of them on side. Lund allowed it to run and Agana slews it way off the target. They haven't. And Leg whips it in close. The keeper in trouble again. Got his fingertips to it. Back it comes to Draper. Now for Dijkstra. Outside him, Turner. Here comes Draper again. Good touch from him. They're queuing up. Oh, it just didn't come through. Well, the Notts County fans cannot believe that they've not been able to get one effort in when it's been such a scrap inside that Brescia penalty area. They just don't seem to be able to get shots in. Another Andrew Leg throw in. And we're just about up on the 90 minutes, I would think, and the keeper in trouble again. It's going to be touched out of play by uh, Piavanelli. I'm sure Leg is saying wait to Kevin Wilson. It continues to be Notts County's best ploy and best hope of a goal. Talk about one last throw of the dice. It's one last throw of the football here from Andrew Leg. Where's it going to go? Oh, off the line from Charlie Palmer. And that makes you suspect that it's not going to be Notts County's day. And uh, an Italian goes down clutching his ankle, perhaps playing for a little time. But really, from this throw-in from Andrew Legg, it sums up Notts County's luck inside the area. Look at that, Charlie Palmer, and it came back off Landucci's knee. <laughs> The boys have done everyone proud. It's a great day for the club. Perhaps you can come back here later in the season? Yes, we hope so. That, that could do us nothing but harm for the playoffs. That's for certain. But today you're proud of your team, even though they lost? Yes, certainly. <laughs> 